hen with a little black lamb beside her. Mm -hmm. That is called a Jacob sheep. You will see on her head she has three horns. Her little lamb has two horns. That's not a birth defect of any kind. A Jacob sheep can have two, three or four horns. That's in their breed. And the Jacob sheep is the oldest known breed of sheep in the world. There were pictures of Jacob sheep in the Bible, so they predate the Bible. We don't actually know where or when they originated, but they are the oldest known breed of sheep. In the middle pen, as time moved on, people kept sheep for different reasons. The obvious one in that pen that's obvious to look at is that big sheep with a full fleece of wool. Wool all down her face, all down her legs. Our sheep today produce around three kilos of wool. She's currently holding somewhere between eight and nine kilos of wool. She was bred specifically to produce lots of wool. And the black sheep that's in the pen with her was for a different reason. They were a milk sheep. People used to drink the milk directly from them. She's called a Zwarbel sheep. Again, the names are very original. Zwart is Dutch for black, and they were a breed that came originally to Ireland from Holland. They're called Zwarbels or Zwartbels, and they were a milk sheep. And then the little brown sheep that are closest to you. There are three adults in that pen with the little bits of wool left on them. One yeah. <laughs> lamb from last year and three little lambs from this year. They are called yeah. little soy sheep, S-O-A-Y, and they came from a little island off the coast of Scotland, again, very originally, called Soy Island. Soy Island had no green fields or mountains like we have here. It was all steep cliffs. So they bred those little sheep that could climb up and down the cliffs, and their main diet was the seaweed around the coast of the island. They couldn't keep any bigger breeds of sheep or cattle. They couldn't climb up and down those cliffs. So they, those little brown sheep were the main food source for the people on that island. They were the only thing that could survive and live on the cliffs. Today, there are no people on Soy Island. We don't need soy sheep. We have cows and goats we get most of our milk from. We don't need milk sheep. And we don't need a sheep to look ridiculous with three or four horns on her head. <laughs> They're not worth anything. So because of that, all of those sheep in there, those breeds are nearly extinct. We keep them on the farm here to try and keep part of our history and part of it, farm and history alive. Today, it's these type of sheep that win out, that either produce breeding stock or produce meat. Okay. Right, right. So, my grandfather, you'll see me after putting this red F on this sheep. My grandfather started that F, but it was a black F. It was a tar from the roads. Okay, oh. They had no colors. When I was small here on the farm, I remember my dad with a big red bucket of paint and we'd break a branch of a tree and try and paint it on. Thank God for aerosol. <laughs> <laughs> so, that is one sheep with a hair. Oh, that looks good. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> oh. Okay, let me go. Okay, let me get away. And that is one fleece. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, comes off in one bit. Oh Again, the inside of that fleece is nice and clean. Okay, you can see the yellow color yeah. coming through. The outside of it is dirty from being out in the elements. 